What the heck? Hey, buddy, you got lost. This place is not right. It's messy. And I don't have my things. What's going on here? Uh, carry bag. Little sling bag here, you know. Eastern Cape Way. Well, actually, the materials from India. Eastern Cape Way have a little sling bag like that. No. It's a closer thing. Don't worry about it. Let's get that one. Look at this thing. My arm towel is, oh, it's being washed. Oh, God. It's not right. How can I do this thing right? What is this? What's on? Oh, this little, uh, these little tourist books that they got. I don't know what they is. Get that out of here, too. What else is going on? Oh, hey. Watch this movie last night. Money Monster. This has a lot of holes in it, but it's an all right movie. Let's watch it with my wife. But she fell asleep. People who don't know how to watch film, they can see it from beginning to end. Anyway, it's not bad. You know, but don't worry about it. That's pretty good. Uh, oh, hey. I just remembered there is something I gotta, I gotta do. Let me see, how do I do this? Get out of there. Come here. See, now every morning when I wake up, first thing I do is I check the weather. You know. The, the local area, whatever have you on my phone, uh, like that. What's it going on here? Hey, no, it's not right. What's this doing? Sometimes the phones, do, you know, this modern thing is it's amazing. Uh, I just, oh, just okay, watch thing. I just look at certain headlines, see what's going on. And I did come across a headline, I'm trying to find it now, which is kind of industri industri interesting. Uh, as you know, when we do these series, we are dealing with basically right now the series is going to change but but uh i'm here in africa here in south africa about in a couple of weeks i'll be back in the states for a bit um but there's a, a, a online thing called the daily maverick daily maverick uh out of south africa and uh, this is this an article 11 african leaders are are at the u.s no, dash africa business summit in maputo that's in mozambique but but South, Africa, but South Africa is only represented by its ambassador. Kind of interesting. So I was going down this uh, little article, and I'm trying to. No way. It's, it's going to be a little. Look, be patient for this one because this is going to be. Uh, I've got to get this thing because I want to make a point. Oh, here it is. So all those, you know, that it's a business thing. Look, look. You know what's happening? Oh, what's that? Uh, you know what's happening in Africa these days? Uh, there's all kinds of things. Uh, the the East uh, there's an East Asian what the East Asian there's an East African bloc that's getting together. Um, I know I have my moringa in here. Um, there's all kinds of there's a West African anyway. Uh, um, then of course you have SADC. Now this is interesting. Well, these things have been in place for for a little while, right? But this U.S. business no, I'm sorry. So you have SADC now. The base is what people do, they're trying to eliminate uh, the, the borders or the visas so people can travel freely. That's where the business goes. Now remember, with Colonial, how it works is first you do trade. And then as you're doing trade, you have to protect your trade line, so you have to bring the military in, you see? And then stuff happens. Then you start ripping the, the place off. But first is trade. Oh, it's, oh you, you, have tra you have trinkets, you have this. Let me, you have this, let me give you that. Okay, oh, you know, oh wait, precious. Let me give you this, what's this for? So, so that's how it starts. So, the, so China came a long time ago and started trading, blah blah blah, da, 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 and doing what they do, you know, without a military. Right? The United States comes with comes with CIA is military. Okay, so when you overthrow a leader and you do that, it's, it's all military, right? And in the eighties, the United States had a bunch of what we call low intensity warfare things all over the planet, and they still do. Okay, and right now, let me say this, uh, China might be in like, whatever, but there's like 55 um, no, African nations now, I lose count, but, 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 but they were in like 53 of them, whatever. The United States has about 300 little military operations all around Africa. Um, so that, so that's, that's the situation, but what happened is the Chinese did more business right now. The, 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 um, the United States tried to come in and force their business on, force it, doesn't matter. You understand what I'm saying? So in this African summit, I want to try to do something here. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's going to take a while. Here's these, here are the leaders that are at the um, Of course, I'm just going to say, look, everybody has different names. You know, if you, get, you look up the names, I'll, look up, I'll tell you the country. Right? Uh, at the summit, uh, the first president, uh, of course, the host is the, uh, Mozambique. 
moves in. If you can see that, moves that B. Oh, you can see this thing is right here. Okay, we'll put this cat there. Moves that beak is right there. I don't know if you can see, but that it's right there. All right, the next uh, person, uh, the cat from Wanda, you know, Bill Clinton's puppy. Where's that? You know, he's doing some stuff, but you know, who knows? He might come on. Where's oh man, there's Kampala. Naganda, this must be it right here, but I can't see Rwanda right here. Okay, right on the Congolese border, right there. That's Rwanda. Okay. Um, next we have uh, Namibia, which you all know where that is, right there. Okay. Then we have. Oh, uh, 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 um, Kenya. Uh, oh, I'm, again, I'll go into these leaders some other time. But Kenya, Kenya. Come on, Kenya, where you at? Here we are, right there. Uh, Kenya. Okay. Uh, then we have uh, Guinea Bissau. I should tell you a story about Guinea Bissau. When I was in the Air Force, uh, just early 70s, uh, I knew some people, I knew because of uh, work, let's put it because of stuff that I did, uh, I knew a lot of people. And what, and, and, and this is during the time of Guinea Bissau was trying their little uh, revolutionary kind of thing. It's Guinea, and, uh, yeah, Guinea Bissau right here. And I almost, Hope with that revolution, but sending some supplies, but that didn't happen. I can't explain the whole thing because I don't want to be in trouble. Um, next thing you have Malawi, the place I want to go to. I love, I don't know why. I have this thing about Malawi. I really want to go to Malawi, but they're going through some changes now. I don't know what they're doing. Malawi is right there. Okay, let's take some time, relax, you know. It's all right, okay. Uh, Malawi, uh, Zambia, Zambia is right next to Malawi. And plus, I love Zambia too. I spent some time with Zambia. I love the Zambian people and the attitude. I just like Zambia. Um, uh, Zambia, 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 Zambia. Uh, Zambia. Uh, Botswana, of course, Botswana, who is pretty smart after their liberation, but, you know, I think they're getting, I don't know if they're getting any smarter now. Um, uh, Guinea and Botswana. Um, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. This is interesting. The U.S. This trade Zimbabwe. Whew! Interesting. Zimbabwe, right here. Okay. Uh, next we have Equatorial Guinea. That's where is it? Margaret Thatcher's son tried to pull some sort of uh, coup. I don't know. Is that the country that was? Equatorial. Come on. I guess Ecuador Guinea is just Guinea right here. So that must be it right there. Okay. Uh, Guinea, let's see. Plus, King, uh, or oh, the King of, uh, uh, oh, it's it, Swatini. That's right, it's Swatini. Uh, uh, that's uh, Swaziland. Swaziland changed their name back to the original. So it's Swatini. I think that's it. Swatini is the name of the thing now. So that's the. So the king. Hey, the king came. The king, he came, and of course, where the heck was Swaziland? Come here, where you at, Swazi? There's my Swazi. Oh, it's small. Oh. Swaziland, right there. Okay. Um, so the king came there. Uh, Uganda sent the prime minister. Oh, that's the last one. Okay, so that's Uganda. 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 Uganda, Uganda, it's Angola. Well, actually, Uganda is supposed to be right here. Uganda, oh, right here. I insist that Uganda is like close to the cradle of civilization. But that's it for another thing. Oh, no, I'm gonna put my glasses on. That's why you'll know, you really know it's me. Okay, so let's look at this stuff. This business meeting, so I guess, I don't know what they're gonna do. I didn't read the article. I'm not going to read the article. You have a business policy here, here, here. Now, I want you to understand 
that here yeah, these are what's called a sadic nation. So they have a business thing already. They, let me go back here. Talk to so they have a business range mode. They're trying to break down because sadic nations basically it's all of southern Africa. But you see, this is kind of interesting because of places that they, you know, close to coastal. They have diamonds. They have minerals here close to coastal. Um, this is coast, right? Zimbabwe has a lot of stuff. Uh, Zambia had minerals. Uh, Malawi. Oh. Malawi's good. Malawi's Malawi. I don't think they have much anything. Kenya, of course, on the coast and oil and blah blah blah. Um, 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 uh, Kasinga, the 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 uh, Rwanda. They're trying to be a tech giant country, whatever. Right? But you know, they're not going for for cryptocurrency though. That's kind of interesting. They want to be tech, but they're not dealing with cryptocurrency. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I got to get there to find out myself. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Then go back. But anyway, so you see, with boom, 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 boom. boom then all the way over here, so nothing is happening here with this business. A lot of people, like I said, like like I said, didn't go to this to this thing. But I'm looking at this thing, uh, and and you know, it's, United States cannot catch up as far as China and infrastructure. I don't know why United States is just not into infrastructure. It's kind of weird. Not even in their own country. Not in I should say, I'll be just short. Not in my own country do we have um, infrastructure. Doesn't make any sense. Everything's going to military. I mean, how many? What do you call it? Try how many Trident missiles do you really need to destroy the Earth? What? Oh, I don't know. 190? I, don't, I have no idea. But we got a lot of them running around the world. So anyway, so money goes into that. How does this pertain to ADOS? I've been looking. I've been, I've been, it's the coming months. Cause I'm gonna look at. I'm trying to deal with what to do. As reparations come along, uh, what what form does it take, uh, and how can we use it to our advantage, right? And one of the things that I'm hoping the African Union or any of these other blocks would just say, "Hey, look, diaspora uh, Africans, that would be you know eight U.S. Two, right? Any place in Africa you want to go, no problem. Hey, yeah, you know, Mr. Blah, blah 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 blah. So in fact, we become the business." In other words, if you want to get to Africa business, you got to go through the, since we have so many Africans all over the diaspora and every different country, doesn't matter what country, you got to go through an, a diaspora or an African to do business in Africa. That's right. Think about it. That's all you have to do. It's part, it's part of reparations. You put so many things on reparations that the whole world has to deal with and then people want, you know, and this will include, and this ADOs don't have to, and they, they can assign this to the Pan Africanists. Hey, hey, got something for you to do. Africa, got Africa in the name. Go do that. <laughs> Leave us alone. That kind of thing. Okay, so I just want to put that up because globally, things, people are, are making moves. And now, I, that's just the United States. Think of what Great Britain, Great Britain, you know, England, the, 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 Queen's, the Queen's people, they still under her, her thumb, right? Uh, of, you know, France had never, France is even worse. You know, they're all over Africa doing whatever they're doing. We can the bauxite. Bauxite is the one that makes uh, aluminum and stuff like that. It doesn't matter. They just, you know, everybody's trying to get to Africa. So I just have to go, come through people. The problem is if you come through the leaders, you can bribe leaders. So we have the, the, somehow ADOS or somebody, I mean, you pan Africans come up with a program, with an agenda that, 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 that's really clear. Instead of sniping against, you know, your own. You, you understand me? Way forward, be a leader, you know. So that's well, we have to do one last thing because of all this stuff. There's a lot of older people in this. I, I had this revelation, it has nothing to do with what I'm saying right now. When I'm looking at these hearings, when I'm looking at people, you know, like Jim Clyburn and you know, even Maxine Waters, and you know, of course, you know, John Lewis, you know, I got beat up on the bridge, John Lewis. You know, what I think I'm saying, you know, some like some of these African leaders, why are you still there? Really? You, honestly, okay, let's put it this way. The, uh, the civil rights movement, we're talking about the 50, okay. How are you, everybody jumps on, say Castro, this was funny. You know, when Castro, Castro gave up the power eventually, he said he'd give it to the younger generation, he gave it to his younger brother. Somebody else did not, but my point is, right, what, if you, if you did something in the, in the 60s, why are you still, uh, where's your protege? Where's your where's your backup? Where's your follow up? Where's your, you just did something at that what twenty five? Where's your twenty five year old? You up here, you know, seventy years old, ain't got you know what I mean? 
and everybody is under, just about to, you, you, you understand what I'm saying? So the, the, this whole phenomenon, it's a, it's, it's a, this whole phenomenon of older people still trying to control younger people, to control a young planet, is wrong. And I'm speaking as an elder. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, you know? Okay, truth be told, I've sort of, um, I say multiply myself with ideologically, you know, because there's a lot of young people I've influenced throughout the world. And they're a little older now than any of the generations they influence. It. So that's the way it's supposed to go. But when people keep on holding on to power, for what reason? What reason? I just don't, you know, power must be like this. <laughs> Afrodisiac. Okay, let me stop meandering. Let me go on. That's it. That's a little, little news flash from me, T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. Letting you know what I only suspect from a dust of the A-D-O-F. That would be the American descendants of chattel slavery.